All right, no intro this time. It's quite literally just we gotta go and uh, we gotta go and uh, save this girl. All right, let's go. Jesus. Hostile spotted. Charging up. Welcome back to another episode of Boss Plays Mass Effect. My name is Boss, and we are going to try to save the Quarian. So, let's see. We got to go save her. Let's go, we got four minutes. Can't duck behind the stair? This desk? This thing? Let's see. Target up. Uh damn it. What the fuck? Let's see if we can pop this fucker. You know what? Locked and loaded. We're gonna go around. I lost contact. Mouse and keyboards. Piece of shit. Holy fuck! All right, let's see. Cause I honestly forgot how to. How to um, heal myself. So we are going to figure that out real quick. F is to melee. That's good to know. On heal. I don't, I don't want vehicles. I think it's up here. First aid's V. So F and V. I'm commander. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Alright. Let's go. Wait. Something over here we gotta get. Not sure what the fuck it is, but okay. I don't fucking know. Alright, let's go. Alright, we've healed up. John Goodman. Still doing pretty good go that way. Come on, open. Open Siasami. Ass assing. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Contact. Oh, fuck. We're hurting. Oh, it's John Goodman. Come on. Kill yourself, you little man. <laughs> Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Are you okay? Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. 
Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? We could say a friend. Huh? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The Ambassador's office. It's safe there. He'll want to see this anyway. Looks like a big banana still. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? Or Russian alien? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Gotta love that shit in his ears. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Oh. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Reapers sounds familiar. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. Man, looks like the white version of Tyrone Biggums. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. Those the lips. Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? Well, Goodman, she can come with My us. name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? I mean, fair enough. Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Jeez. We are representing humanity, so we need to be with our own kind. Gotta love that shitty uh, walking impression. Alright, let's see. So, ah. 
That's pretty cool, though. What's down here? Uh oh. Some Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Bati? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. Oh, shit. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. Mm. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. He said he's over there in the expensive bar. Or he's over there in the expensive bar over there. Ask us all. So is this the expensive bar? No. Oh, maybe. Ah, uh, this looks like an expensive bar. Oscar? My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Stop stealing corpses! <laughs> yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. What? You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good uh. enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. Son of a bitch. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. Fucking hell. This is the worst part because it's like, I get dude. Like, you know, he wants his wife for a proper burial, but same thing, you know, the Geth, their technologies. Granted, it'd be in a couple of years, so. I don't know. I'll, I'll tell Mr. Bachi on. about this. It might make it easier for him to understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't think he Please is. Please let me know if you have any though. other questions. I think he's gonna be pissed. He'll be like, give me my wife's body. It needs a proper burial, which he's not wrong. Fuck, Welcome that's rough. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. It's unacceptable. I'll let you know what I can do. Thank you. Please let me know what can be done. Just go Hello, off on this guy. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? It's not as simple as I'd hoped. 
The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Yes, you told me as much. I don't care what the military wants for her. My wife finished her service when she gave her life on Eden Prime. It is time for her to come home. Samesh, right now more people are going to die unless the military runs those tests. This isn't about them. This is about my wife, the woman the military killed. The Geth killed your wife, and they'll kill a lot more if we don't run those tests. You think I've not given enough? Don't speak to me of duty. My wife is dead. Yes, she is, Mr. Batia. She died fighting for what she believed in. She sacrificed her life to keep you safe. I think she'd want to make the most of that sacrifice. You're right, Miss Williams. She would not flinch from her duty. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. Now, see, why couldn't you have been like that when I told you that they was running tests? You know what? You're just a dick. Ugh. I guess sometimes you need a woman's touch on things, you know? What is this X? Is it this? Oh, yeah, I think it is. Fucking hell, man. But yeah, I mean, I get it. Dude's frustrated, pissed off, and has some military guy barking orders at him. I mean, I get it. Jeez. I give you a reasonable fucking answer. Uh huh, alright, Enkindler. But yeah, no, I mean, like, I get it. You know, dude wants to, uh... You know. Please do not disturb the keepers. Fuck you, I should have been paid. Hey there. Just a military man on leave. Really? You said don't fuck with the keepers, man. It's the first thing you do. Fuck with the keepers. Alright, let's go in here. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Oh, yeah, I mean, fuck, man. Stand there and get off the pissy with me. Face when they see evidence they can't just ignore. I just hope it isn't too late. All this time we spent hunting for evidence gave Saren a nice head start. No kidding. Nice head start and, uh, you know, these people don't look like a fucking banana. Right. All right. Is it up here that I'm supposed to go? Oh, fancy pants. Oh, yep, there he is. Keith David. Captain Keith David. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, 
and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Get the look on her face. Get a load of this asshole. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. You ever seen that show, uh, The Expanse? Not even a thank you from the Ambassador. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Very good show. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Watched it multiple times. And, uh, I tell you what. When I first saw the series, watched it all the way through, you know... To the point where you could tell it was rushed for some fucking reason. Um, yeah, this game kind of gives me that same, you know, vibe where it's, okay. it's uh, you know, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's definitely enjoyable. If you haven't seen the TV series The Expanse on uh, Amazon Prime, 
definitely give it a watch or uh, pick it up off of uh, you know Amazon. You know, I'm a big believer in uh, physical media, but I'm also one of those that uh, doesn't believe in just. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. But yeah, give it a watch first if you can. If not, you know, through Amazon Prime, I'm sure you'll figure something out. Um, but yeah, if you dig it, pick it up. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Oh, thank you. But yeah. Fun. It's a, it's fun, but it's also one of those things that takes a minute to get into. Because I remember when I first tried to watch it, I just was like, not feeling it. I was like, oh my god, there's so much just, uh, uh, and there's a lot of talking, not gonna lie. But, you know, the action kind of picks up. It's more of the mystery for me that was uh, really just getting me going. Like, I was like, damn, what's gonna happen next? And that's kind of the same way I get with this game. You know, like, damn, what's gonna happen next? Fuck's this handsome devil? Oh, nobody. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. I will say this, though. Um... I'll uh, get back with you guys. Uh, I'm just going to kind of do some shopping around, seeing what's going on. And then from there, um, I'll go to the ship. So you guys, uh, I'll, well, after this uh, chance meeting with this this sexy man, man witch. Congratulations, Shepard. Heard they made you a specter. I'm glad somebody got the council to see Saren for what he really is. I appreciate that, Garrus. I resigned from CSEC after the Council ignored my investigation. I was sick of all the politics. You're the only one who seems to be doing anything about Saren. Let me come with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You won't regret this, Shepard. Alright, when we're back, and here we are. Let's talk. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. This ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Hmm. That's right, they were. I forgot about that. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his geth scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice on that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Ah. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. 
You're a specter now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an Ola army Harris. of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Sounds like overkill to me. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated, mission accomplished, and I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. I'm gonna be honest, that was kind of a goofy-ass uh, thing. I, it looked like that uh, thing was just gonna go around and around in a circle, so... I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Yeah, let me ask you about the past and tell you I'm tired of living in the past. Son of a bitch. Alright, let's get on board. Alright, fuck. I to say, damn, Garrus, what are you fucking got? Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. You may die. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Jesus, Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. Let's be honest. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. 
captain would be proud. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. All right. Ah. Good time to end it right there. Episode's not too long, but at the same time, you know, it's not too, too short. Let's, uh, take this time. Let's talk to a few of the crew member. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. Oh, shut the fuck up. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, sir, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Nihilus was on our, uh, on our side, if I remember. I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Ah, look at that. Put people in their fucking place. Alright, let me talk to the crew real fast. Make sure everybody's uh, on the same fucking page. So. Caden. God, he walked up all menacingly. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Jesus, can't even be friendly with the guy that I've been fucking going to battle with. Oh, can't fucking do that. Talk to the... Yes, Commander? Shawas. Is there something you need? How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. Huh? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko uh. was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Oh, well, if he just gets migraines, I mean... Shit, that's not too, too bad, I suppose. God, this is the slowest moving fucking elevator. Let's see. Dr. Rex, John Good. Nice ship you got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. <laughs> you Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. Of course it is. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand. But don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Fair enough. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. 
Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. Ah. So long, Rex. Shepard. Let's talk to Ashley. Commander? How are we doing? Who's we? What's your opinion on the last mission? Kinda wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... We came as soon as we got the distress call. I didn't mean to Even with that. the fastest ship in the fleet. You did the best you could, Commander. It's my fault. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. The Gath are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. Sir, they have flashlight heads. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. <laughs> Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Ah, Dismiss, Chief. I'm trying to Sir. have a conversation with the people that are going to be having my back, quote-unquote. And... Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. But CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. All right, well. I forgot the quarry in, but you know what? I'll talk to her in a bit. Well, uh, said we were gonna end this episode and then, you know, fucking 10 minutes later. But yeah, all right, let's get out of here. And we'll end this episode on a nice note. So I'm supposed to get up here, huh? All right. Zoom out. That's how you do it. Oh, okay. Exodus Cluster. I feel like I've heard of that one before. Yeah, let's travel. All right. Well. Gonna see you assholes on the flip side. Gonna go to a big rock. Just wanna thank everybody for watching, and I hope you guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of your day.